Hey guys, welcome to PX Innovative Photography. We do primarily weddings. We do offer um, some portrait photography also. I do some landscapes um, for fun because you can stay away from beautiful landscapes. Anyhow, um, me and my wife uh, got into wedding photography here a couple months ago. It's something I used to do longer ago, but never, never really fully enjoyed it because I did it by myself and as a as a one-person shooter at a wedding, you can't get everything that needs to be captured at a wedding. So we're super excited to be working together, and uh, we love wedding photography. We love being a part of a bride's day in such a special way. We know it's a super big deal to a bride. She dreams of the wedding day in her entire life. And as a wedding photographer, it's our job to capture those dreams. And uh, so we, we love what we do. Um, another big part of what we do also is we do include in all our wedding packages the wedding album. Um, we feel that's a very important part of it, especially after our experience with wedding photography. It just takes a long time to do the wedding album if the bride is responsible for it. Like so for me, it yeah, took it took us about a year till we actually got it done. She's slow. <laughs> it's very complicated though, and so what we do, we basically come up with a proposal and do all the layout work for the bride. Then we sit down with the bride and she can look over the, the album, mm -hmm. make any suggested changes, you know. Make she can sure say, she likes it. Put other fam fam mm -hmm. family pictures that might be important to her that we didn't think about. And so within, you know, two months or so, she has the wedding album fully laid out at her Rather than in a year from now. <laughs> it took her a year. Yeah. So anyhow, that's, we feel like that's a very important part of it because you can have your wedding pictures on a CD or you know on your computer. It's all scattered out. When friends come over, it's clumsy to show them your pictures. But if you have a nice wedding album, it's awesome, very easy, and you feel like you have good pictures. So anyhow, what we want to do today is we want to show you a little bit of our gear. Um, it's over here to the left. We'll show you that in a bit, and we're just going to show you kind of what we do and how we are unique. We don't feel like we are the best wedding photographers because I don't think there's anything like the best wedding photographer. Every wedding photographer has their own style and every bride has their own style that they're after. So we may not be the wedding photographer that's right for you. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's very important for the bride to do a lot of research, to figure out what style of photography that a wedding photographer does before choosing that photographer. If we fade your style, we would love to work with you. Anyhow, let's dig into it. I want to show you some gear over here to the left, and uh, we'll be back with you soon. Hey guys, this is to show you a little bit of our gear that we use and kind of what helps us to be creative on your wedding day. Um, recently, we did make the switch from Nikon to Sony. We love, love the switch. The Sony cameras that they came out with, the new mirrorless cameras are just amazing. Basically, um, if you look at this camera, you're probably thinking it's a cheesy little camera. This is actually an amazing camera. Basically, the, the what Sony did is they're doing the mirrorless cameras. So instead of uh, the big bulky cameras that you used to see, they're able to do away with the whole mirror system and make it a lot smaller and a lot lighter. It's essential on a wedding day. Cause we're walking around all day long with this around our neck. Um, before, it used to ruin my back. Now, I can walk around all day and it doesn't hurt me. So this is basically the Sony A6000. My wife primarily uses this one. The reason we like this as a second camera is that it does 11 frames per second. So it just allows us to get a lot better um, chances at getting the perfect shot when the, when the bride is throwing the bouquet or when they're squishing cake into each other's mouth. At 11 frames per second, you're bound to get the right shot. Um, at five frames per second, which is what a lot of other cameras get, just makes it a little tricky to get that. So we love this camera. Also very good in low light, very, very fast um, autofocus, which makes it easier to get the shot. This is my, my camera body. Basically, this is a Sony A7 with a, uh, a battery grip, which allows me to put two batteries in so I don't have to worry about my battery life. And this camera is very, very awesome. It uh, does have a full frame sensor, so the amount of uh, data, the amount of image data that I'm capturing is so much more than uh, on a lot of cameras that have the crop sensor. The, uh, the weight of this is also super lightweight, very, very easy to handle, and just makes it makes it easy, makes it easy on, on our backs. 
Um, I do have another camera body that I use just like this. I always rent that just so I have a backup camera if this one goes bad on me. But I also use both, especially during the ceremony, I keep both on my shoulders um, with different lenses on. That way I don't have to change out lenses to get different shots. I can just flip up the other camera body. So anyhow, um, let me show you some of the lenses that we have here. So basically this is our primary lens. This is the uh, Sony 70-200 lens. And it just allows us to get a lot of uh, a lot of shots that we would miss with all this kind of range. So basically, if you've been at weddings where I photographed, you see where I'm kind of in the back, but I'm still getting close-up shots. So this allows me to kind of stay out of the way, yet get zoomed up and get those shots. My wife does have a, uh, a smaller zoom lens that she goes up along the side with, so she's kind of out of the way, but she can still zoom in and get those shots as well from a different perspective. And I love this lens. It's the main portrait lens I use, everything. It does super, super good. This is a macro lens. What a macro lens allows you to do is just to get really close and still get in focus um, to your subject. So what we use this for primarily is the ring. Um, you know, the rings, the uh, any jewelry you may have, even some shots of details on the dress or shoes, you know, anything that's a detailed shot that makes for a very creative shot. A lens, uh, a lens I don't have here um, that we often use is a wide angle lens. A wide angle lens just allows us to get some really cool creative shots. I'll show you some examples in the video. Um, this lens is definitely a lifesaver. The wedding we did this last weekend was, um, this was a lifesaver there. Basically the wedding was an outdoor wedding, but it was um, in the late afternoon. So till after the ceremony, till we got doing the portraits and even into the reception when we were doing the, uh, you know, just photos around the reception, it was very dimly lit. This lens did amazing. It's a 55 millimeter F1.8. So what that 1.8 aperture allows us to do, it opens the aperture up really wide. And that does two things. For, for portraits, because we use it for portraits during the day as well, it allows us to blur the background to make the subject kind of pop off and just makes a very clear, sharp image. In low light, what 1.8 does, it opens up the lens more to let more light in. So it operates very good in low light. We were able to, uh, to do the whole reception without any flash. It just did amazing. This lens is just my kit lens that came with my Sony A7. It's a 28 to 70. I love it. It's just kind of that all-around lens. It does uh, it does really good when we're doing like portraits of bigger groups that are where I don't want that wide angle distortion. I just want you know I want to be able to get everybody in the frame. It does very very good with that. Um, so that's the lineup for lenses. The next wedding we'll probably rent a. Uh, a wide angle lens. It's going to be in a venue where we can take advantage of that very nicely. Another thing we do have is um, flashes. We do not like to use these on camera. Sometimes we have to. When we are using it on camera, we're almost always either bouncing it off the ceiling or bouncing it off the sidewall. Um, just make so it's not straight on. That does not look very flattering. Um, we do have another flash setup here that I use. If you see this camera, I have a little trigger on here. So we use this primarily in the portraits, especially of the bride and groom, or maybe just the bride. We will use this. And it just allows us to go off camera with it and to the side. Anytime you do that, your quality of light is going to go up because you don't want flat lighting. You want texture to your lighting. So you want the highlights and the shadows. And on camera flash fired straight on does not give you that, it just washes it out. So basically, my wife always holds this off uh, to the side. And then with this uh, with this diffuser here, if all it would have is this, it still wouldn't be that great of a light. But with this umbrella here, we can pop it out there. 
and it turns this little flash into a big light source. And the bigger your light source, the better your quality of light. So this just allows us to get a lot of amazing shots. Um, we also sometimes use a flash to backlight the bride's veil. I'll show you some images of that um, in this video. Just Just allows us to do a lot of creativity. We do have one more tool here that we use quite a bit. The uh, last wedding we did, it was uh, very cloudy, so we didn't have to use this. Um, we actually did use it one time. When we're doing the ring shot, the way we get that is we actually we use this macro lens and then just put my iPhone out and then put the rings on there is uh, one of the ring shots that we do. But to make sure there's no reflections off of that uh, iPhone screen, we actually take this black side here and just hold it over the iPhone and that takes away the reflections. So we have a nice black background. Um, it does also have a reflector side. We can use this to kind of bounce some light back into, like if we're taking a portrait of the bride, Maybe she needs some light from the bottom or from the side. We can use that to do this if we don't want to use a flash. The primary use of this, we can find the zipper. You take this cover off here, it turns into a diffuser. And this diffuser is where very often we're caught with a sunny day or maybe in the woods or something where there's very spotted light. Um, with this diffuser, my wife just kind of holds it up there over the over the subject. Where, like if the sun's coming over here, she'll hold it here between the subject and the sun. And that just diffuses that light. It just makes everything nice and soft. So it looks looks very, very good. And it's very easy to handle. It goes right up. Anyhow, so that's some of our gear. I love our Sony setup. It just allows us to do good. This last wedding we did was a lot of it was almost after dark and with the gear that we had especially with the Sony a7 and the a6000 cameras we were able to get very good images so anyhow we are really excited about this and we look forward to working with you at your wedding. Well that's all we have for today guys thanks for joining us and please check out our pictures and like us on our fan page at facebook.com forward slash PX Innovative Photography. And we hope to see you walking down the aisle on your wedding day.